What is good YouTube, it's your boy AJV.IMG bringing you guys back another quick video. And today, it is another rainy day, unfortunately here in Oakland. We'll get some more sun tomorrow, but I wanted to bring you guys a quick video on some of the maintenance that we're doing to the car today. Now today specifically for the Genesis, I'm noticing some symptoms of the car being a little bit difficult to start. So I figured, hey, either the alternator or the battery may be going out. Uh, that's a, again, a very common symptom of these vehicles. They're very large vehicles, they eat a lot of power. So you need to make sure that your battery uh, is, is relatively new or in good condition. Now, the way that you can check and see what the condition or the age of your battery is, is simply by, again, removing all of the you know, accessories that you're gonna see, the covers here in the back, and actually locating the battery in the back compartment of the vehicle. Now, when you locate the battery in the back compartment of the vehicle, it is a very large battery. So, what you're gonna wanna do to check the age of your battery, and you, again, you may have a different battery than I do, but if you have a battery that's similar to this, what you wanna do is locate the date code on the battery. And that's usually gonna be a four letter, uh, letter slash number combination code. Now, in this case, mine's just gonna start with a P, right? So in this case, my date code is gonna be 068R. Now, what that means is the six stands for the month that the battery was released, and the eight stands for the year that the battery was also released. So what this is telling me is that this battery has not been changed and was actually put in this vehicle on June of 2018. Now, we are in 2024. So that means that this battery is almost seven years old, if we do the math, if I'm doing my math correctly. So this battery is up for change. It's up for renewal at this point. And that's why I've gone ahead, I'm here at AutoZone and I've gotten an H8 AGM battery that I'm going to be swapping out today in the vehicle. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to go ahead and swap this battery out. It's very simple. You will need, I believe, a 10 millimeter socket slash ratchet, as well as a 12 millimeter socket slash ratchet, and maybe some gloves and a little bit of strength. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first step that we're going to want to take is to remove, first of all, get your 12 millimeter ratchet and remove the 12 millimeter bolt that you can see here that is holding the battery down. You wanna actually remove this hole down. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the hole down first. Once you remove the hole down, lift this up to the side. Step one's complete. All right guys, step two is gonna be to get a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two battery terminals that are here as well as here. Now, once you remove these terminals, you also want to unplug this white plug that you see here and remove it out of the little plastic grommet. Easy enough. Third step is gonna to be to remove this vent tube that you see here. Now this vent tube is gonna be on the positive side of the battery. So before you lift this battery out of here, do not lift this battery out and yank this tube out. Make sure you remove this tube and make sure that you replace this tube back in the positive side of the battery when you install your new battery. So we've gotten everything off of the battery, bolts wise, vent tube wise, now we're able to remove the battery. All right, guys, so we have the new battery in, as you can see. Now what we wanna do, first step, is putting this vent tube in the positive side of the battery. So as you can see, this is the positive side of the battery right here, and this is the negative side of the battery. So we will go ahead and plug this vent tube in like so.
Alright guys, so we've got the battery seated. We've got the vent tube black back plugged in on the positive side of the battery. We're going to go ahead and connect these two battery terminals, the positive and the negative side. And they're both 10 millimeter as we started. So we'll go ahead and screw these back in. Don't forget to put this white cable back in as well along with the plug. Put your cap back on. Alright, it's in there tight. Now the last step is going to be to put this battery tie down in, which is the 12 millimeter socket slash ratchet. So that is what we'll do as this last step. All right, guys. So last step is going to be to put this battery tie down back in so that your battery does not go flying in the back of your trunk. Do not want a 15 pound battery flying in the back of your trunk. So we got to secure it down. Make sure the battery tie down is facing upward so that it is holding this battery down. nice and tight so we are back to where we started now all we need to do is start the vehicle looks like everything is back in place we have the vent tube in place our cover our little plug back over here both terminals plugged in and the tie down in all we got to do is just start the car now to make sure it is starting and running properly lights on the dash obviously my trunk is open but that's how it's done you don't need anybody from AutoZone to help you just make sure you bring your ratchets with you again you can do this by yourself just believe in yourself take your time and it's very simple <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day again the rain today does not keep a car repair away and I'll catch you guys in the next one man deuces